Okay, this lighter is said to be waterproof. Well, it's in the water. Now we're going to check to see if it's waterproof. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be uh, doing a review of my plasma lighter. Plasma lighter, electric lighter, arc lighter. Uh, heard it called a lot of different names. I think it's maybe more of an arc lighter. So I'm going to test a few things. We'll test wind and this is the lanyard cord for it. I took it off because it's soaking in water right now. Uh, I don't know if I should leave it in here long. I, I see a lot of reviews that I just put it in, take it back out, rub it on some snow. We'll let it soak in there. We'll see uh, hopefully it'll work after this, right? I got some candles here to try to light out. I was looking for a toothpick because I wanted to explain how you could use it in the woods. I usually use a stick uh, to light the stick, and then with that stick, I start my fire. I couldn't find toothpicks, so I don't know where. I don't, I'm not going to uh, do that demonstration. I got some candles, lots of candles here. And there's a reason that I have these candles. And I have chapstick. What the heck do I have chapstick for? Wait and see. So I have the charging cord that it comes with. It's a short one, but it does work. And uh, I have this because this is just another way to charge it. There's many ways to charge it if you wanted to. So... I'm going to take that out now because I'm going to get started here. Now, I did buy this myself. Nobody is uh, paying me to do a review on this. All these reviews that I do, they're my own uh, products that I had bought. This is this one here I bought myself and I use it. I have used it in the woods, uh, starting fires with it. And let's take this out of here. Now, I'm not going to leave it wet. I'm going to actually dry it off because I, I don't want it to be wet when I'm using it. So we will see. After I dry it off. If it still works. Dry my hands off. Let me dry this a little better. And then I'm going to clip on my lanyard line here there's a lanyard hole I already put this on this comes with this which I think this is really nice because a lot of times uh, depending on what you're doing you don't want to accidentally drop it in a fire depending on how you're starting your fire what you're doing uh, I think it's a nice little option to have if you don't want it you can always put the attach this and unclip this or you could use this for something else Okay, so this has a very uh, strong lock on it that you just pull down and then press this and then it flips up. Here's the test. Yes. So there is a rubber O-ring in there. I don't know if you can see that. It is lit. It is working. Uh, like I said, there's a rubber O-ring in here that when you close this, it seals it up. It seals it up enough that it doesn't get wet. So we're going to try a few uh, tests here. Let's, let's do the candle ones first. Uh, let's light a candle. So we'll just, you can't light small candles. Well, can you even like these candles. Now, it's hard to light too because this is just too big. Now one of the things you could do if you wanted to 
light candles is you could have a longer stick and you could use that light that light your candle and then blow out the stick there are long matches I mean, if you have a match why would you want to do that but just saying so here's a another candle it's a little bit wider uh, the only thing with this is even if I am able to light this which I won't even be able to light this one once it melts down farther this is going to be rendered useless. I'm not going to be able to use this at all. Now, I would say this is pretty much useless for lighting candles, unless. So here's some emergency candles. These will burn 27 hours. Each candle burns four and a half hours. I've been using these for years. Actually, yeah, about over 10 years. I've I've always had these type of candles with me uh, sometimes if I'm you know going out in a vehicle you know driving camping I'll take these with me they're good for home uh, if power, power outage or something so basically just I don't know if you'll be able to see this stick this in here and there lights right up so it is good for candles if you don't have to stick them in something to try to get it in because they just don't fit. Uh, by the way, these are really nice candles. Uh, actually, I'll leave the, these in a link for you um, if I could find them online. Uh, like I said, I use these often. Uh, burn time on six of these is 27 hours, pending if it's windy or not. So, so far, we was able to light a candle that we didn't have to put anything in. Next thing, is it windproof? Oh, my cap's well, I'll get that later. So, I have a battery pack here. And this is how I usually charge uh, my USB items, like things like those are flashlights or even my phones. My phone usually always uses small battery pack if I'm out and about. Uh, you could also plug it in if you are somewhere um, where there's electricity. Some camping places, if you're using a camping site, have plug-ins. So you could do that. So let's see if this is windproof. And what we'll do is this only works if it's plugged in. This isn't a chargeable one. Medium. It's on, it's blowing, and it's not going out. And you do hear this, this is pretty powerful for a little fan. Okay, so it's windproof, uh, it's waterproof. The other thing about this, now I got the camo one. This does come in other colors. This comes in orange, black. So you could get the orange one. I just decided to get the camo because I wanted the camo one, camouflage one. You could get this in orange. That way if you're out camping and you drop it, it will be much easier to find. So they do have other colors that you can choose from. And also when you're charging this, so you take this off, press this to open it, and there is a place where you put your charger right in here. And when you do that, I don't know if you can see the light, it's showing that it's charging. So there's the indicator light when charging. And it comes with a charging cord, and this is the charging cord. There. And then when you're done, just unplug it. It's saying it takes about an hour and a half to charge this. This is a really nice lighter. The only thing is if you don't have a battery pack with you, and 
You use it so often that this quits working. Uh, you don't have nothing to light anything with unless you brought something else. So that's that's a downfall. That's a con of this. Uh, you have to have some type of battery pack. Now there are small ones. These are the ones I usually carry with me this size. In fact, this one uh, also has solar panel that you can charge. In the sun. Okay, so colors, different colors, lanyard line, put it in water, still works, doesn't light these candles, but it will light this candle. Has a smaller uh, charging cord with it that it comes with it, USB. It is windproof. And when you take it out with you, you need to bring a battery bank with you, some type of charging device in case this goes out. Do not keep this above 50 Celsius is what they're saying. 50 Celsius is 120 Fahrenheit or 122 Fahrenheit. Which brings me to the chapstick that I had on a table that fell on the floor. My chapstick. All right, I use chapstick a lot because if I don't use chapstick, my lips just crack. It's just the way it's been since I can remember. Um, the reason I brought up my chapstick is because they said don't use this above 120 Fahrenheit, which I keep lighters in my vehicle. Now, my vehicle in the sun, in the summer, gets above 120 Fahrenheit. If I keep this just in the tray down below, this will melt. If I have it sideways, it will melt sideways and it will be flat like this, not round like this. However, I found out that if I keep this in my center console with the latch on it where there's a cover, this doesn't melt in there. I've never taken that temperature, so I'm not telling you to put this in there. However, I do. I put this in my vehicle because I put it in my center console and it stays closed. And for some reason, I don't think it gets up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 Celsius. I haven't taken a temperature, so they're telling you not to do it. So I'm telling you, I wouldn't do it, but I do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I love this little lighter. I, I, I've had it only for about six months. I had it uh, during the uh, summer months and it seems to work well and it's very useful it's I don't know I like it a lot so I would definitely recommend this if you are uh, you know looking for something that you can charge maybe if you bring something with you just in case something happens if you drop this in the water you don't have to worry about it Whereas if you drop the Zippo or something in the water, it more likely is going to get wet on the inside because it doesn't have that rubber seal like this one does. Doesn't like candles unless you've got the skinny kind, unless you have a, uh, maybe you use this candle to light these candles. I don't know. But there you go. I'll leave a link for this down below. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you never miss an upcoming video, and I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching.